Well, here's a Mac Mini, late 2006 model. It's a dual core to 1.83 gigahertz. It's got one gig of RAM, so two sticks with 512 megabytes. Today, I'm going to upgrade the RAM to two gigs, and then I'm gonna hard, uh, sorry, I'm going to upgrade the hard drive to a solid state hard drive, 90 gigs. Okay, well, first thing we have to do is get yourself a scraper. Has to be a little bit sharp edge. What you do is put it in the side here. Just pry it up lightly. Get one side. Try not to go back where the uh, peripheral board is there. So then you work around the other side. Just slowly going around. Obviously this one has been opened before. One like this. And then pretty much it's loose. And what you're going to try to do is grab it. One more time here. Sorry, I was going to grab my hands. Like this. Now, with the board in the back, as you can see, lift like so. Flip it over. Next, what you're going to have to do is there's a little cable in here. If you can see it. Right here. That cable you gotta take out. So, what I'm gonna use is I have a special set here. It is the flat head end. You can use actually they call it a sp a splurge or a sponge tool. I forget. It's plastic, but this does a trick because I'm very gentle. So you know I have to turn the Mac Mini on its side. So you just put this in here and pull it out. See, there's the cable right here. Okay, next you're going to need is a small, well, not too small, but the star screwdriver with my special set here. Um, I choose to use the biggest one. Um, see here? It's the biggest one. Now, when you take these screws out, see the Apple logo this screw here is the longest remember it goes back in that spot so what I'm gonna do is start with that one first so go like that and when you put them back in you don't have to tighten them too hard just snug it's a computer it's plastic So that last, the first screw, sorry, I did. I'm going to have to just tilt this over because the hole's deeper. So it should come out. And I see it. There it is. See? There's the little guy. Now, this ribbon. I'll show you right here. This guy will come off of here. This is for your super drive and all that. It's like a Sadek ribbon, but it's very tricky. There's a little plastic piece in there. Once you get it off, it comes off. So make sure you don't lose it. But right now, what I'm going to do is just lift this guy up like that. Sometimes you can get away with keeping that ribbon on. But since I'm replacing the hard drive, it's going to pop out. See? Actually, I'm okay. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Now, your antenna does come off. And I really don't want to pick this up. But right here is where your antenna reconnects. In there just push it in once you assemble everything back together okay I put it back in the tray there with the other one okay now memory one gig one gig Samsung they're 5300 Six 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 sixty seven uh, gigahertz, um, one gig each. So 
what you're going to do here is turn this puppy around. There's these two slots right here. What you do is pull these pins out. These guys should pop up. See? They're just like that. So you pull one out. Make sure, because I have a tendency of doing this, is you uh, you put these away to the side and keep your new ones near you. Okay, this guy's stuck. There we go. Got it out. Now, install the other one. Just slide it into the bottom one. Make sure it goes into the pins and just push down until you hear the little snap. Okay, and the next one, same thing. Make sure you have the right slots lined up. Push it in. I'm just being gentle, so. Like so, that's it. So now I just click there. Okay, hard drive. This is the hard drive. There's a little piece here. It's uh, just for airflow, I guess. Keep it. You know what? If it doesn't have any sticky on it, just find some adhesive that's not very, very sticky, like something very light, like two-sided tape would even do. But you know what? I just lay it there because it's still got a little bit of a tack. So just put that to the side into the tray. Make sure that you don't lose that because it is good to have airflow. Okay, so now on the hard drive here. There's four screws, two here, two on the side. See, there goes the ribbon, popped off, told you. I could put it back in, no problem. Right here are these two screws also. Now, to pull the hard drive out, you gotta move it, slide, and then what I do is just tilt it, make sure it's all the way into the back here, and there we go. See, it came out like that. So, there's my old 80 gig. Now, to put the new one in. It's a Kingston solid state hard drive, 90 gigs. Now, this here. I don't know if you can see it. There's slots right in here. Okay. Drive goes in upside down like this. So again, from the back down. And now this is a little trickier. It's almost like juggling, uh, juggling stuff. Because that goes in there. Now what I do is do this and push with your finger. Like that. So what I did is, I don't know if I moved from the camera, I went upside down, kept my finger here, and just give it a jiggle and push it back. Okay, now back to assembling the screws. putting her together so we got the memory in got two gigs now instead of one you solid state hard drive obviously it's upside down so you can't see the name it's uh, Kingston which is another good product and like I was mentioning earlier in the video you don't have to have a uh, huge hard drive just to boot off Okay, so putting your back together. Remember now, this ribbon has to be connected after this guy right here. And see here, this is the piece I was talking about. You do not lose this. This holds the ribbon in. Trust me, you can't get away with just putting the ribbon in and putting the lid on. 
you can't you need it it locks it in place okay so now before I move on your antenna like I said goes back in here this is your airport antenna <coughs> okay goes in here so there's like gold end and then there's a gold sleeve right here well not a sleeve it's like a pin it's a very small and tricky but once you get it on it's it almost like it's stuck there to like a magnet but it comes off easy so when you're putting it back in see there it falls in that slot there <coughs> so make sure your antenna hangs over here that'll put this guy back in now make sure all your wires like there's a little wire here and here this is for your light and whatnot um, make sure they're out of the way make sure this ribbons here make sure you don't lose this again <laughs> okay now this is tricky because this antenna like I said could come off so what you're gonna do is move it here put it in this slot here there's a slot right here doesn't it doesn't clamp in there it just goes in here like that so you gently try to maneuver this in without pushing down because you're going to damage something. It can be tricky because there's a slot that goes into this bay, which goes, which your hard drive and drive is in here, which goes to the logic board. There. So what I found is that you drop the back end a little bit more than the front end. And that makes it, you don't want to tilt it too much because there's those pins it goes into the logic board which is the um, for the hard drive and for the super drive okay so okay this is a little tricky so just bear with me okay gotta move this little cable out of the way now this is the important part this here you slightly put in very gentle very gentle um, it might take me a few seconds or what not, minutes, I don't know. <laughs> it can get under one shot, I don't know. Now, you'll see there's a white strip on that ribbon. So once you get it in, you can lock her down. Okay, so looks like I don't have it. Maybe uh, this little clip probably came down. See, so you got to make sure it's just loose, very loose, but not ready to like fall off because then you're going to lose it inside there okay uh last time i got this it's a hit and miss with this you can get it right away or it might take you like five ten minutes it might take you half an hour i don't know especially if it's your first time upgrading a mac mini um there i think i got it so what you do is you don't push right against there. So what you're going to do is hold your finger there, okay? Because I can see there's a white line on that ribbon. That's where it goes. Now with your flathead, just touch lightly. Push down on that brown, brown uh, piece there. Um, what I can do is use two because it feels like one's popping up still. There, see, my ribbon is in. Let's see there done gotta be careful okay so now back to the screws Yes, now we're going to put the antenna back on, put your spring, turn it around so you guys can see all this. Put your spring right there. And there's two slots here, and these two posts are going to go on there. So put your spring in the, or your antenna there and snap. See, now it has a little bounce to it. Now, last but not least, this little cable. Now, this is where a little tweezers might come in hand, but 
I'm going to try without it. I'm going to have to flip it up so it's easier to see. Now, last time I did use this. Once you have it just seated in there, like this shouldn't be using this for this, but I'm very careful. I'm touching the sides of the plug. And there we go. See, it's in. Right there. See? See, see, see. There. Now, just double check. Make sure ribbon's on. Screws are in. Memory's in, of course. Hard drive. Uh, check these cables here. Nothing's hanging off because there's little slots that these go in. Uh, nothing got trapped under here. So, I think we're good to go. This cable's connected. Uh, the airport, I'm pretty sure it didn't come out. It's just this was a little snug here, this wire here. But I think it was last time, I don't recall. So once you got back together, I'm going to put this lid on. This way. Just make sure there's no wires. Mac Mini, 1.86, 512 times 2, 1 gig. 2 gig in it. Now, solid state hard drive, 90 gigs. We will upgrade you next with a video. Okay, this is the final segment of the Mac Mini upgrade video. As I showed you earlier on the video, I upgraded the memory from 1 gigabyte to 2 gigabytes. Well, since then, I've upgraded the memory to 4 gigabytes from the 2 gigabytes. Also, I showed you I installed a 90 gig Kingston SSD hard drive. Well, since that part of the video, I installed a 120 gig Samsung SSD hard drive. Also, this Mac came with a 1.83 gigahertz processor. I've upgraded the processor to a 2.33 gigahertz uh, Intel Core 2 dual processor. So this machine is maxed out to uh, the processor wise and memory wise. So just to give you a little information here, go to the Apple about this Mac and it'll tell you here. I have Mac OS X which is Lion 10.75. That's the latest update for Lion. Um, shows you the processor here, 2.33 gigahertz Intel Core 2 dual. Memory is 4 gigabytes at 667 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM. Now if you go to more info and if you go to storage it'll show you here at the bottom my 120 gig Samsung SSD hard drive. And then if you go to the memory here it shows you 4 gigabytes installed. Your Mac contains two memory slots each of which accepts a 667 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM memory module. So both slots are used two gigs each and uh, it's maxed out so like I said the processor is maxed and so is the memory the only thing you can upgrade on this late 2006 Mac mini is uh, the hard drive and I believe the capacity you can go up to one terabyte I'm not sure you'd have to find online resources for that anyhow that is the video for my Mac mini upgrade I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I hope you guys look for my future projects of videos of upgrades of Mac Apple products. Thank you very much.